Hi guys and welcome. In today's tutorial I will show you how to make a simple highlight tool, reusable tool in DaVinci Resolve 18. Let's add a fusion composition first to our timeline, go to effects, search for fusion composition, click, drag and drop it to the timeline, right click, change clip duration and type 4. So our clip is 4 seconds long. Now if I check the frame rate, the frame rate is 30 frames per second which means that 1 second takes 30 frames. Uh, if I go to the fusion page, we need to add an S rectangle node and an S render node, so let's do that. Control space to add a S rectangle and an S render node. Control space again. Now we need to connect the S render node to the media out node. Now we have the rectangle here. Click the S rectangle node in the width put 0.9, the height 0.2. We don't want the rectangle to be solid, we just need the border to outline. So uncheck the solid checkbox. Now if we change the border width, we have only the border left for the rectangle. Let's change the color in the style tab. Click on the color and choose a color. As you can see, the border width is too thick, so we will fix it shortly. What we want to do here is to animate the border width and the length. So the length is this property. To do the animation, we will use the anim curves. So right click on the border width, modify with anim curves. Now another tab is opened. We can go there by clicking the modifiers. Now here we have the properties of the anim curves. As I told you before, the 0.2 is very thick. We need to give a smaller value and the scale defines the maximum value of the border width that we allow in the animation. So if I put here 0.02, this will be the 100% of the border width in this animation. Now for the source, we will choose duration. We are doing this because we want to connect the animation to the duration of the clip. The animation is directly connected to the duration of the clip and this animation will work with any type of duration of the clip. Our clip right now is 4 seconds. One second is 30 frames, so we have 120 frames. And now for the curve, we will choose custom. Now we have a graph here that has two inputs, the in input and the out input. So just imagine this like a function or a graph where the x axis or the left to right axis is related to the duration of the clip. It takes a value from 0 to 1, where 0 is the beginning of the clip and 1 is the end of the clip. If we put 0 0.25 here, it represents 25% of the full duration of the clip, which in our case is 30 frames for one second. And the y axis is related to the scale or the, to the width of the border. So the value 0 is the scale of 0 and the value of 1 is 100% of the border width or 0 0.02. So for the animation we want the animation to start at 0 then when it reaches 25% of the duration so we're here to go to 0 0.02 and then stay in that position until it reaches 75% of the duration of this clip which is 90 frames in our case and then from here it will start to go to 0 again. To do that we will add a point in the graph and now for the in input we will put 0 0.25 or 25% and we want the border width to go to full scale, or 100% of the scale, and we put 1 here. Now if I go from frame 0 to 30, you will see this animation. We want the border width to stay at scale 0.02 until it reaches 75% of the duration of the clip. We will add another point here, and type 0.75. And in the end, we want to set the scale to zero so that the border fades out. So select the last point, which has a value of one for the duration and for the scale or the out input, we will put zero. Now, if I play the animation, this is what we will get. If we want to smooth the curve here, it's pretty simple. Just click one point in the graph and click and drag this handle and make your curve. Same for the right point. And now we have much smoother animation. Now we need to replicate the same thing for the length of the border. So I'll go to the tools. And for the length, we will leave the length to full length. The maximum value of the length will be 1. Right click on the length. Modify with anim curves. Now we go to the modifiers again. If you want to rename these anim curves, you just click on one of them. Hit F2. The first one is border width. Hit OK. Now we are presented with the second anim curve. Now for the length, we will also want to make the same animation, so I will go quickly and do it. And now if we play the animation, this is the final product. Let me move to the edit page. Now with the fusion composition, if we move it one track up and add a background in the video track 1, 
we can change the duration as long as long as we want because of the anim curves the animation will work correctly with no issues now if i play it Now obviously we will want to resize this rectangle highlight tool but we will face some issues. First of all we cannot change the border width and the second problem we will have if we want to zoom out it will work correctly but if we unlink it and if we want to change the Y zoom separately the border will get distorted. And there is no way for us to fix it here but I will show you how to fix it in the part 2 of this video where we make a macro for this simple highlight tool. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and with you guys here in part 2 of this video. Thank you for watching and bye.